Hi folks, Eric Fritz here with INE Technologies. Today we're going to be talking about our elevated body temperature detection systems from our partners at Viper Imaging. These systems deliver fully automated and complete kits and they utilize FDA approved FLIR infrared cameras. And while many institutions are trying to find ways to operate safely and eliminate the spread of coronavirus and other illnesses, thermal imaging is playing a key part in the pre-screening measurement process. While infrared thermometers have their part, they require individuals to be in close contact to take these measurements. And this is why many of these institutions are going to safer, more accurate, reliable, and efficient automated systems, much like the one we'll show you today. Now, with so much misinformation going around about screening systems and their capabilities, it's important to ensure certain criteria when screening individuals. And these things include removing obstructions from the target's face, measuring only the target's tear ducts, not the entire face, and make sure to screen only one person at a time. You also want to make sure that your images are in focus. In our first example, we have three individuals being screened. They're all told to stop and look directly into the camera and wait for their green light, red light, or go, no go feedback based on the body temperature alarm threshold within the system. The on-screen prompts can be customized to reflect any directive needed. In our next example, we're gonna stress the importance of focus as it relates to accuracy. And as you can see, our target is out of focus. And as we focus the camera though, the temperature becomes more precise as visual clarity improves. Now, as mentioned previously, the tear duct is the best correlation to core body temperature, and as infrared doesn't pass through materials, you can see our target's temperatures are over a degree warmer without the PPE on, thus the importance of removing that PPE to ensure an accurate measurement. In our final example today, we ask why is it important to screen one target at a time and remove obstructions from the tear ducts. Our individual steps in the field of view, gets a green light with glasses on, removes those glasses and steps back in the field of view, and we uncover the fact that she actually does have an elevated body temperature, which is indicative of a low-grade fever. So we need to make sure that we have the correct guidelines in place for the system we're utilizing for screening. If you'd like assistance setting up EBT detection guidelines, or if you'd like more information on one of our systems, please contact us today. Thank you and stay safe.